What's up, TV Bitch Nation? This is Wes Whitehead from The Playlist, and today we are doing basics. And we're gonna start off with breakfast, with, with, with the absolute classic, the omelet, the French omelet. And hell, you could have this for lunch, or for dinner, or for a late night snack when you're really stoned. Okay, so we've got flat leaf parsley, otherwise known as Italian parsley. Don't get the curly kind, it sucks. We've got marjoram, which is uh, an herb kind of similar to oregano, a little softer. We have one shallot. We have two nice uh, farm-raised eggs. We have a little bit of milk. I'm using 2%, uh, but you could use whole milk, cream, soy milk, almond milk, doesn't matter. Uh, so we'll take our eggs. This is our starting point. When you crack an egg, do not do it on the side of the bowl. That's a sharp thing that's gonna push the shell up into your egg. Do it on a flat surface. Now I don't wanna do it on my cutting board because that would be unsanitary. So I'll use actually the side of my bowl. Crack on the inside of the bowl, just like that. Gently put your thumbs in. Pull apart, you're done. Whisking. It is important to beat air into the eggs. That makes them light and fluffy. You want to whip the air into it. This is very important. Most people stop about halfway through when they should keep going. Increase your speed a little bit. Guys, you're probably very good at this for reasons that we won't explain here. We look at that, that's looking pretty solid. I'm going to add a little bit of milk in here. This is going to give us a nice creamy texture, and of course, we're gonna season. A little salt, kosher, of course, a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper. Shallots, these are uh, a softer, more elegant version of an onion. They're in the same family, but they have sort of a, a rounder flavor that's not gonna be quite as pungent when we put it into our omelet. Just like that. Very, very basic. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna cut across. Just like that. And then I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna do little slices. Essentially making strips out of it. And then, third, I just cut across. And that way I have a nicely diced shallot. Today we're gonna use marjoram. It's on a little stem, much like thyme or, uh, or oregano, and the easiest way to take it off is to go against the grain and you just strip off the leaves. The ones at the top tend to be a little more difficult because the top will just pull off as it did right there. Parsley you can use whole. I don't mind the stem, some people do, but I don't really care because I want to chop this up fine anyway. Most of the time I don't use a nonstick pan, but this is one of the few cases where it's really perfect for it. I also want one with a nice graduated lip here. That's going to be easier to get my uh, spatula underneath there. So we'll turn it on. We've got a nice, decent little heat here. I'm uh, going to use a touch of canola oil. You could use butter if you like, but I actually like the pure flavor of the egg. That's just me. Once we've got just a little bit of color on these guys, we're going to add in our egg. And what I like to do is a swirl, just like this. So in preparing our omelet, we're just gonna start to work apart the edges here. Now we're gonna do this the French way and not the American way. I don't like folding the giant thing over, all right? So lastly, we take our herbs in there, and you fold once, and then you come around to the other side, exact same thing. All right, flipping. This is not essential, but I figure if we're doing omelets, we might as well cover it. And you get it toward the edge of your pan, and just a nice little flip of the hand, all right? It's all in the wrist, it's very gentle. Don't go crazy with it, it's not a big thing. We look here, I've got a little bit of browning, but not a lot. I'm not aggressively cooking this. I want it to be slightly raw, not raw in the middle, but I want my eggs medium, all right? I want them a little bit runny. That way I'm gonna have a nice, juicy omelet. That's it, you take a little of your extra herbs, maybe sprinkle it on top for color and prettiness. Some cracked pepper. And you're done. I'm gonna have a bite of this because I'm really hungry and I didn't have breakfast today. Not cool, it's good.